In a tough year for Dr. Dennis George, former General Secretary of the Federation of Unions of South Africa, FEDUSA, after he was accused of fraud, and FEDUSA dismissed him in May, saying he was guilty of misconduct with respect to his private investment in IO technology solutions. Now that a settlement agreement has been reached under the auspices of the Commission for Conciliation, mediation and arbitration clearing him of any wrongdoing he can now end this year with his uh, this matter behind him but will he be able to bounce back let's ask him he's right here in the studio dr george thank you for coming thank you good afternoon well, well i think it should be appropriate to ask you how have things been with you ever since uh, this uh, controversy started and having not to talk about it publicly and all um, Aspersions cast on you that there's this allegation of a cloud of corruption on your head and you don't even have to speak about it. Now that it's time for you to speak, firstly, how has this affected you? Look, I mean, um, when people read things in the media and some unethical journalists, you know, will push a certain agenda to deal with black professionals and black people that is very successful, but I'm not the only one. You look at Brian Mulefi, you look at Dr. Dan Majila, you, I can mention a string of people, you know, we as persons are cast on us, you know, you can see now people don't even want to work in state-owned companies anymore because, you know, they are set up for failure. I look at um, uh, Buyani at SAA, you know, he came with c incredible uh, credentials and the support around him was not there. They set you up for failure. But I'm very pleased because um, the CCMA is a very critical institution and it does a lot, you know, if you want to deal with your matter. You can have a choice to deal with the matter in the media or you can deal with the matter through the institution like the CCMA and I must congratulate them, they're very professional. For somebody who doesn't know, how did you end up in uh, hot water? Look, the basic issue is this, um, and that is what we've put in our statement is that Dr. Survey's companies made an offer to a, a consortium of trade unions. And in the trade union group was also producer. And um, they didn't want to accept the offer. And then that's the time when the media started to spin the thing that I'm going to benefit from the shares. But in fact, I was only warehousing the shares, you know, on behalf of the workers. So I'm a non a beneficiary uh, a owner of the shares. It's like a person that's a trustee. But the big thing is this, that I trusted me because you know, I could have now yeah, taken it. Before we get to the trust of IO in you, the housing, tell us about this warehousing of shares. What is it and how does it work? Okay, the housing of shares is a basic, straightforward transaction in terms of uh, corporate law. Uh, it's in a similar kind of a situation where there's also a trust. You know, so you keep the shares, you, know, you cannot trade with the shares okay because there is a, a, a fixed term period on the shares of non-trading okay you also don't get any dividends for the shares so financially i didn't benefit nothing out of the transaction in fact the shares are still in the company the family holdings group and the shares is for the benefit of workers you know so when one of the trade unions will come forward to come purchase the shares at the same price that you know it's we asked for they can have it now, before you got there, because the intention here, according to the report, was that you were housing the shares for the benefit of the unions, but then what seemed a good intention from your heart would be seen as corruption from FEDUSA. How was the, or how did both parties, yourself and the employer, misunderstand each other? Look, you know, whenever people hear the C word, you know, somebody talks about you are corrupt or I'm corrupt or that one is corrupt, then they are screaming for blood, you see. And then they also at the same time violate my rights, you know, uh, to be innocent until proven guilty. And, and that doesn't happen today anymore because once the media gets onto a story, you know, they enjoy seeing blood on the floor. And even close friends of mine that came on television and said this and that, they came afterwards to me to say, look, we are sorry. So, so what is the truth? Is it true that you warehoused the shares without anybody knowing, without Fedusa having approved it, and you made a unilateral decision to do it? No, no, no. It was not for Fedusa to approve. 
when you go to a shop and you want to open up an account, you don't need the permission of your employer, right? And the purpose the shares was for them, but they didn't. They were not interested in the shares, you know. So other unions are also interested in empowering themselves because the trade union model to operate is getting under extreme um, uh, pressure because of you can't continuously increasing the membership to be a member of a trade union. I mean, some of the trade unions' membership is now more than 120 rand per month, you know, and you can see the amount of members, people belong to trade unions are also declining. So that's the reason why if a union can receive an annual dividend to uh, improve their revenue streams and to make them financially more stronger, then that's a better situation for the union. So if Felisa didn't have to know, doesn't this open a can of worms in terms of conflict of interest? And didn't you see the need for declaration of interest in terms of this? Because you were the leader, one of the executives mm. in the union. So didn't you see a need for them to know about it? The offer was presented to them. About your actions? The offer was presented to them to say, there's the offer, there's the shares. But before it could even go to the NEC of Fedusa, you know, other leaders have already, you know, made their own minds up into system. Mm. Do you feel the union threw you under the bus? Um, look, for me, the basic issue is this. This matter is now behind us, you know. The matter was dealt with at the CCMA. I'm very happy with the outcome. We've also agreed, you know, that the, the contents of the settlement should not be disclosed because, you know, we don't want to implicate other people and make the thing even worse. So the point is this, I'm going to move forward with my life and um, got a couple of plans in my head that I want to do to contribute to world job creation. Mm -hmm. but, but, but moving on, do you feel that your dignity, image and reputation has been impeded on because if there's a sue word on you, perhaps if the mud has been thrown at you, it sticks. You know, the mud doesn't stick because at the end of the day, you know, people know your character. I've even had a phone call from the president, you know, where he phoned me and said, Dennis, but this is not your character. You served so many years in the labor movement and you've built up, you know, I've made Fedusa a household name in South Africa. And even today you can see there's actually nothing happening. Moving on, do you think that you're going to bounce back from this in terms of when one sees Dennis George, they remember IO Technologies, they remember Fedusa and the word corruption. Yes, you must remember that I am an independent non-executive director of IO and uh, my appointment on that board was also ratified by the PIC. So part of my work is to look after the interests of pensioners and to make sure that IO delivers the best they can under very difficult economic circumstances and you will see tomorrow in the newspapers the returns from IO. So w what's your advice to somebody who would see an opportunity of shares that are available and what, would you, what should they do in terms of informing their employer uh, in terms of not opening a can of worms and creating an impression that uh, warehousing shares is free for all, anybody can do it without telling the executive, without telling management? No, 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 but the point is this, that the offer was not only made to Fedusa, it was made to a consortium of trade unions including Kusatu unions, including Kusatu and everybody else. So the issue, the offer was publicly published in the, on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange in the pre-listing statements. So people want to say that they didn't know, they didn't this and that and that. They are really very selfish with the truth. Right. Thank you very much for making time. And uh, it's probably a good thing for you now that your name has been cleared. I'm very happy. It's a good Christmas and we're starting, we're ending off on a good note. All right. Thank you very much. Dr. Dennis George is former General Secretary of the Federation of Unions of South Africa, FEDUSA. Peter.